in this tutorial i am going to discuss the concept of java integer cache but before discussing this concept first let's guess the output of following statements so this one this one and this one so what i am doing here is i have declared two objects of integer types and then i am comparing their memory reference so in java when you compare two objects with equality operators equal to equal to it compares their reference so it compares uh, their reference or you can say memory address instead of value so what do you think is the output of this statement similarly what what is the output of this statement and this statement so you can pause a video and guess the output or also you can share your answer in the comment section and then I'll explain its output now I hope you have guessed the output now let's uh, see its output and the output is true false and false so surprise why the answer is true then false and then false now let's understand this concept so let's start with what is integer cache so in java integer class keeps a cache of integer instances in the range of minus 128 to uh, one. 27 and this integer cache works only on auto boxing so what is auto boxing so when we assign int literal int literal to integer reference java converts primitive type to its object reference and this is called auto boxing so in java there are eight primitive types so byte long short int float double care and boolean and corresponding to these primitive types we have the wrapper classes so now integer objects will not be cached when we create its instance explicitly when we create its instance using new keyword and what why integer cache is introduced in java so it is introduced to save memory and improve the performance now let, uh, let's understand the output of following statements so here we are creating uh, two different objects of integer type and then we are uh, checking whether they points to the same memory address and we know its answer it is true but why so i have already explained the concept of integer cache and its range is for uh, from minus 128 to 127 so what happens is during compilation so java compiler converts this uh, statement uh, so this uh, 110 into so integer dot value of 110 so this is called auto boxing so now uh, the object is created and it's assigned here and also the next time when we assign the same value to another object 110 so it's lie in this integer uh, in this integer cache range so it will uh, return the already created uh, reference so now when we uh, do a equal to equal to b so the answer is true because both uh, these variables points to the same memory address now uh, it is clear so let's move to the second statement which is here we are checking c and then we are doing integer dot value of which is similar to this because so it for, it's for us we are here uh, simply writing 110 but during compilation java compiler converts them into integer dot value of and here we are explicitly writing integer dot value of and similarly uh, for c and d uh, we are checking whether c and d points to the same memory address so here we are creating one object and and in next line we are creating uh, other objects and this 128 this value does not lie in this range so this object is different and this object is different so both points to different memory address so when we do c equal to equal to d so the answer is false now let's move to uh, this the last uh, statement so here uh, we are creating a integer object using new keyword so definitely this integer cache will not work here it will only work in the case of auto boxing so in p uh, different references assign and in q different references assign although 110 lies in this integer cache range but here we are explicitly creating uh, the integer object so 
this will not comes into this picture so when we compare p equal to equal to q so it is false as both uh, p and q variable points to different memory address so now this is the explanation of the following outputs and i hope uh, you get the clarity of uh, why the output is true false and false so uh, i have tried to explain this concept uh, using uh, following examples and if you want to understand any other concept you can let me know through comments and i'll try to uh, make a video on this topic so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video